Coronavirus Diary. April 15th. 2020. It's Wednesday. It's dusk. The sun is set. It's been a good day. One day at a time. A lot of isolation. I've hugged only two people and one dog in the last month. But that's okay. I got somebody to hug. Today's reading is from 1st Psalm 63. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Second reading is from the book of Wisdom, chapter 16. You furnish them with bread from heaven. The next reading is from Acts chapter 3, when Peter heals the man who could not walk. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the man was walking and leaping and praising God. The next reading is from Psalm 105. Invoke his name. Glory in his holy name. And the last reading is the gospel reading from Luke 24. He took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him. That is from the walk to Emmaus. So what's there to say about these lovely readings? Well, the first thing is we long for God. Our soul longs for something to cling to because our soul knows that it was not made of itself, but it came forth from another soul greater than itself. And yes, his love is greater than life. It's better than life. And yes, we have been furnished with bread from heaven, bread from heaven. Right now, the hardest thing is we can't take the bread from heaven. We can't get it right now, but we'll get it again. And then the good news is that the God who made the world out of nothing, the God who gave us his son, and the son who is one in being with the father and therefore, therefore could not remain in the grave, that he can give you the power to overcome your lameness. Whatever cripples you, you can be healed. And the key is his holy name. God's name is holy. He's holy and his name is holy. His name is holy because he is holy and he can't speak anything that's not holy, including his name. And then lastly, he took the bread before the two fellows who are walking to Emmaus and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them. And when he did that, they knew they were with Christ himself. And then he disappeared. So what a lovely thought on a lovely evening by the lagoon at Palmetto Dunes, Hilton Head Island.